This is all your fault. <laughs> Mother. I regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that that's her father. Hey everyone, we are back with the Mortuary Assistant. This is going to be shift number three. Interesting little thing that just happened. I didn't start recording until now, but I had a quick scratch around our protagonist's flat, and I found her dad's 10-year, 5-year sobriety coins, and also a necklace. And if memory serves correctly, that happened, was it episode two or three, I think, where we ended up, or maybe it was the most recent episode, anyway, we were in like the, the alternate demon universe, and that was when our character kind of burst into flames above the bed. That's the only time I can remember the sobriety coins and the necklace coming up in conversation. And I've got them in my inventory. Somewhere. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Literally, I can't actually look until I get out of the car. Oh, come on. Seriously? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, take a pad and paper. Oh, match. Can I not... Why? Why can I not look into my inventory? Oh, do I need my clipboard first? At least I can keep track of things. Yeah, drawer, thank you. Oh! Oh, they're in here! Okay, that's weird. You see what I mean? So I picked them up. And now they're in this drawer. Do I need to... Ooh. Oh, necklace, 10 year old coin, 10 year coin, 5 year coin. There you go. Anyway, I'm, I'm not too sure what those are for. Maybe there's something that we've missed or we haven't experienced yet. Maybe it does have something to do with that room that she was in. I don't know. I'll have to have a think about it. But uh, anyway, in this particular episode, what I'm going to do right now is get the key from the keypad underneath the unit here. And I'm going to go downstairs, use the bolt cutters and free that thing before we've had a chance to place the sigil on the body and burn it and try and save her. So I just want to see what happens because I get a sneaking suspicion it's going to kill me instantly and then I'll just have to restart the next shift. Um, so I'd rather get that out of the road now and then focus on trying to free her, which would be interesting because then we have to do all three bodies. Give me a wee second. Ah, oh, I forgot the fuse. Okay, just give me the option. You'll be here soon. Wait, wait. I'm here. Oh God, please, please don't leave me. I can't do this anymore. We we have to get out or. He just wants to save his own fucking skin. Please, there's still time. I really wish I could just close this on her face. Find a way to let me out. I guess it would be quite good in the sense... Yeah, I'm saying uh, not good in that sense, but I guess it's quite handy in that sense that I don't have to figure out what the name is of this demon because obviously Raymond's already figured it out. But anyway, right. Chop a chop. Raymond keeps find something. Use this mark instead when you burn the body. What? C can't I? Take this mark and burn it with the body. Ah, oh, shoot. Find something. Really? I can't. So I can't. I can't. Use this mark instead. When you burn, take this mark and burn it with the body. Oh! Get something to break this open. Find something. What? So I can't. Take this mark and burn it with the body. That's a bit of a shame, really. Okay. Well, can't do that. Um. Right. Fair enough. Okay. Let me crack on with the bodies then, and uh, we'll see if we can save her. Oh God! Slit your throat! Oh, Jesus Christ! 
Wow, okay, it really is throwing some stuff at me. Was that methanol? Yeah, okay, we do need that. Jesus, so this, okay, it's already starting to ramp up, um, which isn't great. I think now because it might know that I know what I'm doing. Three, four, okay. Right. I think we're good. Already died, see Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still taking the paper and checking every so often. There is a symbol that's above the door there that cropped up earlier, but hold anything else. Oh hold anything crap! Else. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna put everything in the middle of the hallway here. I can't use that here. So if I oh, it cannot be dropped. What? Yeah, drop the necklace. And then we'll drop the bolt cutters for the moment. That's fine. So we know that everything's... Both are there. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yep, thank you very much. Okay. <sighs> so we've got the needles. Yeah, yeah. You're not distracting me. Hey. Why did you let me die? God, Friday. Motherfucker! Regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that that's a father. We know this to be true. Right. Uh... Just a thought as well, I don't think ashing the body is going to really help. Although I didn't have to try it in the last episode, because, well, we figured it out and the claw marks appeared on the body. That being said, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to be helpful in this instance, because we know what marking we're putting on, or like the plint, the mark, you know, uh, on the body anyway. So, yeah, I don't think it's necessary. So I most certainly didn't click on this one. You see, this is another example of whether I wonder if the game's just glitching or if genuinely, genuinely this might be the body. I mean, that's that's a, an initial sign. But okay. Entry two. Yeah, yeah, here we go again. What? Sword off, come on. You know what the deal is, Rebecca? Oh shit, a brick! That would be symbol number, what, two or three? I don't know. Why do, what happens if we open all the windows? Yeah. 
I should better go and check in the other room in a wee minute. Rebecca, come here. Nope. Oh shit. Oh, okay, so we've got Rebecca, another another scenario happening here. I've not seen this one before. Uh oh. Mom. Mum? What? Oh shit. You stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lifeless. Oh boy. Needs a chiropractor. It's me. Oh, my feelings. Okay. Uh, off we go. Wait a minute. Is my shit still here? Yeah. Should I keep the... Uh, I think maybe I should keep the necklace on me just in case we have another scenario. Uh, right, what the hell was I doing? Make the methanol. It's not called that, is it? What is it called? Humectant. Oh, that is methanol. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, it's doing there on the door. Aye, so the game knows we're obviously kick cooking with gas here. That's uh, that that much is obvious. Fuck. Yeah, I know something else is going to kick off in a minute. Shit. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to oh. stop people. No one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my word. Ah. Okay, progress is being made here, but god damn it. Oh no, not while I'm pushing the gurney. Keeping a wee eye on the toes there. Oh! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, thank you. Oh, bollocks. I thought I, I heard something. Oh, okay. No, my bad. Christ! Oh God! Oh shit! Oh crap! Oh bloody hell! Look at you! You creepy bastard! No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, 
Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> no way. I was able to put the necklace on him. Because that is her dad. I was right. Shit. Wait, why is everything still fucked up? Uh oh. Okay, I have a really bad feeling about this now because I don't know if I should be freeing Rebecca because I get a sneaking suspicion this is heading in a direction of, of a different type of ending. Not Rebecca. Sorry, the lassie downstairs. Because clearly something's happening because I found this sh Shit. Oh fuck. Okay, I need to have a think about this. I'm not, I'm not too sure what to do for the best now. Because clearly that worked putting the necklace on it. It is her dad. So what about... The two coins? I thought maybe I could give them to him as well. It just feels like this playthrough, if I don't focus on... Or well, maybe it won't make a difference. Because how could it make a difference if it's... Oh! Really? There we go. Oh, really? Because how could that make a difference even if I'm going to free the what's her name downstairs? But that, that's, that's the final body. Was it always this quiet? Oh, it stopped raining. Oh, oh, fuck! No. Just crack on with what you're doing and don't let it bother you. Oh, no. Can I just go in the back door? I feel like I should also go and get the... I feel like I should also go and get the mark from downstairs. Okay, there's something I'm not figuring out yet. Clearly. With that being said, I'm n I'm not that far along in possession. Because in the last episode, the symbol was fully there. So this this clearly does make a difference with regards to the time frame that you do it in. Oh, it's just a PC I can hear in the background, okay. All right. <gasps> oh, you bastard! Is that, is it? No, it's still the same. So I, I don't feel like I'm in immediate danger here, but... My, my biggest concern at the moment... Is... Do the bodies only show that they're potentially going to be possessed? Or it is the right body that's possessed? When they're on the slab? Do you have to take the body all the way back there and monitor it? I'm going to go get the plinth from downstairs. I really don't like the fact it's not raining anymore. Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh.
Ah. I think the game might be glitching just a tad. Oh well. She's not fucking in there. What is this, by the way? I did always wonder. It looks like an additional door, but I don't think it is. I think I might have broken the game. Either that, or it feels like I should be focusing on doing something different now. Uh oh. Fuck. Or should I do my own mark this time? I, I don't know. off. Okay, you know what? I do think it's this body. I, I think that's what I'm going to do, because clearly something has changed. And I can always do Valerie's mark next time. I think it's this body. I'm going to go figure out the name just in case. Just so I've got both options. I think I have a little bit more time. What the fuck was that noise? Okay, give, give me a quick second. Okay, I think I've got it. Fairmock. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I can't hold anything else. Oh, shit. Yeah, that looks like it is as well. That's exactly the mark I was thinking. Oh, sh oh, bugger off, Granny. I just wanted to visit you. Oh crap! Don't you miss me? Nope. I brought you something. Oh, I Granny. Maybe you could slit your wrist for me. Just a little cut. Oh, what's wrong, Rebecca? Uh, I've not run out of time, have I? Don't be afraid of your dread oh. Oh. Get away! Oh no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Go on, get up, Rebecca. You lunatic. Okay, grab the bag. Uh commission bag, get some ash. I am I'm pretty sure it is this body. Cause it was just speaking and it had a laceration on I hope to go so I think I'm supposed to put the ashes. That is it. That is it. Put the mark on. Shit, I think. Yeah. Should I are you sure this is the right one? I do have an opportunity right now to do it with the mark from downstairs, but I know I get a funny feeling that putting that necklace on my dad, her dad, you know, protagonist dad, means that there might be a different ending. I don't know. I'm going to test that theory. If not, 
then it's going to be easy enough to accomplish the same thing. Because I'm pretty safe in the knowledge I know how to go about... Oh, can make the game in under 45 minutes! Well, that was worth it. Ah, oh, what if I stand over here? Hey, little love. D no way! Dad? I'm here. It's alright. You're safe. Oh my god, Dad! Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. It's, it's alright. I ruined everything. No, no. My little girl, don't do this to yourself. You've suffered enough. If I, if I hadn't been like Mom, you're not like her, Rebecca. Your mother. She gave up on life long before she died. What happened to me was the result of choices you should have never been exposed to. You changed your life. And I'm so proud of you. You changed too. Not before I heard you. Sweetie, you can't do this to yourself. Don't remember me like this. I, I don't want to forget you. If you relive that night over and over, you'll only remember pain. The best of me is in you, sweetie. I'm with you forever. I just miss you wow. so much. Every day I just... I don't know where to go without you. Shh, I know. I know it's hard. But you know where to go. You've already found it. Souls are suffering, Rebecca. But you can help them. You can bring comfort and closure to the living. And let the dead rest. Let the dead rest, Rebecca. I love you. Dad. I love you. Ending five of five. Oh my, get Rebecca's ending. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm so chuffed we managed to accomplish that. Jesus. Okay, dokie. Okay, a couple of thoughts there now that uh, we've achieved that ending. That was a bit of a fluke because it was only at the beginning when I had a nosy around Rebecca's apartment that I actually even found that stuff. And I thought it was going to have something to, I thought I needed to have it with me when I was having the vision of, you know, like the room and she was being set on fire because that did have the necklace and the coins, but I couldn't pick them up at that point. So maybe it is a case where it's about progression and then you can potentially unlock these endings, but is it just a fluke that I got the option to see Dad's dead body, so to speak, and then put the his pendant on him? Was that enough then? Maybe, because I'm just looking at now, there's three more endings. And I know that saving whatever her name is in the basement is going to be one of them. By the way, bizarre that she disappeared. Clearly the game was get glitching. I don't know what that was about. Oh, and achieving under 45 minutes. I didn't know that was a thing, but brilliant. That being said, I know that that's going to be one of the endings. Surely, maybe the sobriety tokens have something to do with the two remaining endings? Because this was a bit fluky, and it wasn't what I intended to do in this episode, but I'm kind of glad I achieved it, which is good. But anyway, I'll have a wee mull over that. Also, on one final more serious note, and I'm not going to do the outro in this episode while I'm referring to this, uh, naturally this type of game references things like self-harm, depression, drug abuse. Um, so I put a link in the description for anybody that needs help, um, that may be suffering from any of those or just wants to speak to someone. Um, it is a global link um, that 
literally from a world perspective you can find contacts for charities and local support and help um, and I think that with these types of games especially I want to ensure that that link is going in there so if that is something you feel that you need then I'll uh, pop the link in the description but uh, anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode